What's going on, Browns fans? Welcome into the Cleveland Browns Report by Chat Sports. Matthew Peterson here answering questions during our live Browns Report, which is every single Thursday at 4 Eastern. So if you ever want to be on a future mailbag, pretty simple. Tune in for our live show and ask your questions over there. Our first question comes in from a longtime viewer of the channel, Adam Bunnell, asking, I know you said eight games referring to Deshaun Watson potential suspension. But how likely do you think a full-year suspension is? Because I think it's a very high possibility. It's a very good question, Adam, because I think it's a higher possibility where we stand today than maybe it was a couple weeks ago just from the optics of it, right? As more allegations are filed against Deshaun Watson, more public pressure will be mounted on the NFL to match those allegations. What will be interesting to see is, is the NFL going to restart their um, investigation with more claims coming out against him, or are they just stopping and saying we're not adding more to our, you know, our, our load here? We're going to roll with the investigation we've already covered. How likely do I think it is? I don't want to give it a percentage because, like, I never been suspended by the NFL, so it's hard for me to say. But I would say, I guess, like, I don't know, forty percent if you really want a number. Next question comes in from Why Big Jordan. Why do y'all want Jacoby over Baker? I rarely see Browns fans asking for him to come back. They just want him gone. Well, I don't think it's that they want Jacoby over Baker. It's more along the lines of Baker and the Browns have parted ways because the Browns went out and got Deshaun Watson. So it's not so much that Browns fans or anyone really thinks Jacoby Brissett is a better quarterback when healthy compared to Baker Mayfield or when Baker's healthy, but it's more of this is the reality of the situation Deshaun Watson is the quarterback. Baker is not coming back to this team. And if Watson is suspended, Brissett will fill his spot. Even if it would be better for both parties to have Baker play, that's just not going to happen. This next question comes in from Scorpion. First off, love the content, Brother Matthew. Better than ESPN bums. I love it, Scorpion. You're off to a good start already. Go Browns and go Dog Pound. Second thing, who's the most overrated uh, Steelers and Ravens player in history and right now, wow, we got to get in the uh, the yearbook here. I would say right now for the Steelers, because I sit next to our Steelers host, um, Jeremy, there are one too many Steelers fans that think Mason Rudolph is going to go to Canton, Ohio after his career is over. <laughs> I don't understand why so many Steelers fans think Mason Rudolph is a good quarterback. Uh, he is not. We have seen him play a lot. He is not a good quarterback in my opinion. Uh, as for the Ravens current, and then we'll do history really quickly, overrated Ravens player right now. Um, uh, yeah, so Marshall, my producer, says Rashad Bateman, they have a bad receiver core, and we haven't seen Bateman prove it just yet. So maybe I'll be proven wrong, but I'll go with Rashad Bateman. As for in history, God, that's tough. Um, trying to think of... Uh, Marshall thinks it's going to be Heinz Ward for the Steelers. I don't know if I'd go down that one. Uh, what about, how about this? Mike Wallace, okay? He has one good catch in the Super Bowl, sucked after that. Um, and then for the Ravens, I will say you could really go with any wide receiver. They never have good receivers in Baltimore, so just X. It's like a mad lip. Pick your own Ra Ravens receiver. They all sucked. DLH Arts and Projects. What is the most realistic starting quarterback uh, the Browns could trade for if they decide that percent isn't up to par, not including other teams' second quarterback? It's a great question because that could happen, right? If Andrew Barrett, the decision comes out uh, in July, whatever it may be, and the Browns go, wow, we actually we don't like Brissett. I don't think that's – I'm not getting that vibe from them, but going under this hypothetical, Jimmy Garoppolo. That, that's, that's the best option. Jimmy G – would be a very good option for the Browns. My only hiccup with trading for Garoppolo, how much would it cost? Because I don't think you're going to win a Super Bowl with Jimmy G this year, and you're only going to have him for one season. So do you really want to give up draft capital when you're already a little bit short because you gave up a first to the Texans for a one-year rental when you're probably not going to win it all? If you can get him for cheap, yeah, let's get weird. Or Gardner Minshew. I would toss in that. Well, he's also a backup, though. So Jimmy G would be my answer. We got a question coming in from Chase Sr. Hey, Petey, if you talk about the brownies, do you like munching on brownies? Chase is a comedian in the office. Um, I like I like brownies. Uh, triple layer brownies. Um, slutty brownies is what my mom calls them. That's what she used to make in high school. It's got brownie, and then it's got cookie, 
and then it's got Oreos at the bottom. Those are the best. So, Mom, if you're watching, I'm coming home soon, so maybe we can get some slutty brownies in the oven. This question comes in from Joshua Miller. Do we get a comp pick for the Catherine Rasheed hiring? Go Browns. So it's always a bit confusing, but no. Remember when Quezzi Adolfo Menso went to the Vikings, the Vikings did not get a comp pick for hiring. What Josh was asking here is about hiring a minority uh, and the NFL's comp pick program for that. You don't get a comp pick for the team that actually hired the person. It's the team that lost that person. So in the Quezzi, you know, case, the Browns have a third for this upcoming draft and the last draft, two third-round picks for the Vikings hiring Quezzi. Did the Vikings get a comp pick, Patrick Seatman? No, I didn't think so. So they would not. That's my understanding of this. Question comes in from Steph Curry's mom. Any free agents out there the Browns could sign? Always fun talking about free agency in the offseason because – it's just fun. There's one position, position maybe outside of, like, I could give the basic answer and down the Kinsu because that's just fun. But if I had to go maybe a little bit off the beaten trail, they're a little thin, a little thin at tight end. So what about Eric Ebron? You know, hasn't been very good for Pittsburgh. What was it, first-round pick for the Lions out of North Carolina? Did not live up to the billing. Uh, last year, he only played nine games. He had, like, 12 receptions, but over his last two seasons – not good, not great. You're not finding a lot of great players out there in the middle of June because that's just the nature of the beast of free agency, but that could be a name to keep an eye on for. So do you want the Browns to make another signing? S for sign or P for pass? Let me know, right? Do you like the current, uh, the current mold of this roster or would you like to see an addition? Let me know down below. This next question comes in from my friend Ryan Chaudhary. I hope I pronounced that correct. Robbie Anderson or let the young wide receiver grow? I like the idea of letting the young wide receivers grow. That would be my take on this because it's not that Anderson would uh, – Anderson would be a good pickup for a good price. you got to keep that in mind too. But I also like to see what David Bell can do out of the slot this year. Finally see DPJ. You know, he was, like, he was a training camp hero last year. Let him look like that this year. So I would say go with the young wide receivers. Browns mailbags, by the way, award-winning mailbags. We have the number one mailbags on YouTube. At least, well, I think we do. And so if you want to be a part of a future mailbag, they are only for subscribers. It's very simple. You just get free unlimited Browns content by hitting one button, that red button, and boom, you are locked in for daily Browns content. So make sure you are subscribed today to be on a future Browns mailbag. This next question comes in from Aussie Boy. I feel like Amari Cooper has been lost in the mix. What are your predictions for Coop in 2022? Love the show. Hashtag Browns. Well, I do agree with you, Aussie Boy, that Cooper has kind of got lost in the mix. The Browns went out and traded just a fifth rounder, a swap six essentially, and got one of the best wide receivers in the NFL, and he's kind of gotten lost in the mix because of the whole Deshaun Watson trade, right? So last season for the Cowboys, if I had to make projections for what he could do this season, I've got high expectations for him. Last year with Dallas, 865 yards and eight touchdowns. I could see him getting north of 1,000 yards and finding the end zone 10 times. Difficult to say without knowing who his starting quarterback will be, but if we just want to assume it'll be Deshaun Watson or if it's just even Watson for more than half the season, I could see him. There's, not a, there's no C.D. Lamb on this team that'll take away a lot of targets from Cooper. So I'll go with uh, I'll go with 1,100 yards and 10 touchdowns. But let's show the new guy some love. No longer 19. Now he wears number two. Spam Coop, right? His uh, what all Cowboys fans just love cheering when uh, when he was here. Coop. Spam Coop down below in the comment section to show him some love. He kind of needs it because every single picture I see him, he, I mean, this is just kind of his personality. He's never smiling. So every now and then I'm like, are you, ha are you happy? Well, well, let's make him happy. All right, spam coop down below. Today's show has an awesome deal for everyone watching. Over at Fanatics, you can get a custom jersey, T-shirt, jersey combination. So if you don't want to buy into an expensive Browns jersey, because let's face it, they're not cheap. 
I still love jerseys, don't get me wrong. But jerseys are a little bit more of a, um, a financial, uh, a better financial way to go about getting your favorite player, but also repping your team. So chatsports.com slash brown shirt. Pick whatever player you want. You can even do custom ones if you want. You're, if you are your own favorite player, a little weird, but you can put your own name on the back. Or you can get creative, put some kind of my name, and put 69, and we can see how funny people can get. Question coming in from Poison Pill. Call it, you ought to fear the stadium. Otto Graham, I like it. Yeah, you ought to fear the stadium. I like that name. Poison Pill referring to our uh, stadium name challenge we've got going on here at the channel. So I like that one. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Doug Phantom 9, any shot or what scenario does Baker play for the Browns? No shot and no scenario. If I really had to answer your question, I think it literally is Watson is suspended for a year. Jacoby Brissett gets hurt in training camp. No one wants Baker. And somehow, Baker and Stefanski meet and go, it is in both parties' best interest for you to play a couple games, improve your draft stock so you can get traded to a team you want to go to. But I don't see a way. If it happens, if Baker takes a snap this year, I am doing a polar plunge in Lake Erie. Pat Riley the NBA legend, Deshaun Kaiser knows the Brown. No, 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 no. Deshaun Kaiser knows the Brown system and is available at quarterback. At age 26, he should be entering his prime. Would be a great stopgap for the Browns. My friend Pat, you're not doing that again. I would not. I will not. I will not watch Deshaun Kaiser again. No, thank you. Uh, hard pass. I appreciate the question, Pat, but I am not interested in bringing on Pat Riley. So I'm mean, bringing on Deshaun Kaiser. So. Is a no-go for me on the Pat Riley. Okay, here we go. Make sure you follow me on Twitter if you're not already, at Matthew Petey. If I missed your question or if you just want to ask a different question, my DMs are open, so you can always hit me up over there. And that's going to do it for us on today's show. I'll see you guys later on a future Cleveland Browns report.